So today we are reading from Sri Shivi Lapku Sumanjali by Srila Raghunath Das Goswami with the commentaries of Vananta Das Babaji. Verse 35. O Krishodari, slender girl, your waist is so thin that I am very much afraid that it will break when I bind it with a golden string with tassels at both ends. O Krishodari, slender girl, your waist is so thin that I'm very much afraid that it will break when I bind it with a golden string with tassels at both ends. What meaning slender girl is this? <laughs> ah, nice. Ah, meditation. No, no, I don't know. But I also want to no, Please, listen, listen more. Then clear happening. Yeah. But it also, yeah. it's also, slender means so extremely soft. In Ujwala Nilamani, our Rupa Goswami is describing sometimes when the manjaris, they make a bed for Swamini, just with flowers. And then Radhika goes up again and they see the flowers they are exactly the same. They were not crushed at all, but all the imprints of the flowers are in Radhika's body. So this is called extreme softness, slender, because Tulsi Manjari, she feels here, even while decorating her, it might be too heavy, it might crack. So this is the attitude of Seva. Not just doing so, but slender. It's so tender. It's so soft. So many times it's described. Sometimes when even a leaf falls on Shyam Sundar's arm, there's an imprint of that leaf on Shyam Sundar's arm. So that's why it's so tender, slender, so tender, so soft. So it needs that heart and it needs that mentality to approach it. Yeah. Okay, Kishore, you can go on. Yes. Notes. In the previous verse, Sri Raghunath hung the Shyamantaka jewel around Swamini's neck. And when this vision disappears, he laments. When will you give me your personal service? Suddenly, the vision of his devotional service returns and after hanging the shamantaka jewel he sees himself 
hanging a golden sash around Swamini's waist <coughs> with, with tassels on both ends. Ayi Krishodari, slender girl, when will I very fearfully hang this string around your waist? Afraid that your waist will break. I will hang this string around it just to bind it up. <laughs> Seeing how thin Srimati's waist is, Tulasi is afraid that it will break. The Mahajans sing. Her waist is more thin that of a lion than that of a lion, and it can be held even with a fist. One can never serve God with love unless one knows the desires on his mind. <clears throat> we must get some impulse from him, therefore. We cannot serve. Without knowing his desire. Service means not my desire, your desire. Your desire, how I can fulfill that service. And when I know you, my Swamini, I know Radha's Mohan, then I have to know your desire. If I cannot fulfill your desire, what is that service? There is no service if I am not qualified to fulfill your desire in Sadak Deha or Siddha Deha. Every place we have to meditate in the service of our Ishtadev. What is your <laughs> desire? I will do that. And I will do that to make you happy. And if you are happy, I am happy. Similarly, when we do this desire fulfillment, then I need my sarup, my identification, material identification. I see God to you. And when I know my spiritual identification, I saw you are my Swami. And He is your lover. In Sarup Aves. <coughs> so then I fulfill that desire. So Sarup Aves is coming of Ishtadev. And uh, without my Sarup, I cannot relate with my Ishtadev. If I not, then I will see you like a God only in my Sadak there. And then Guru Nistha come. My God, what happened to me? Why I become crazy? What Guru Kripa do? Sardha can be before 
doubtful faith, but nishtha come when ist is coming and your sarup will be fixed, then guru nishtha come. That is nishtha. Nishtha means no doubtful faith in any circumstances. Then I give Ishtadev service with my sarup and Gurudev service and I create, serve to the all Vaishnavas, all devotees. They are your parikar, your family and your his service is your service. Is become more and more divine in our life. Radhe. One can never serve God with love unless one knows the desires on his mind. We must get some impulse from him, therefore. On the this strength. The mercy. Radhe. We must get some impulse from him. Means that comes from within. This is the feeling that I am an instrument. It's not I am the doer. Before in my sadhaka there, I always think I have to do. I am the doer. Often we have also, like me, so much false ego there. What is meaning of impulse? Impulse is like an inner inspiration, uh, a vision, intuition, intuition yes. <laughs> impulse, <laughs> feel. <laughs> but you don't need to do it, feel, you feel it. It's a self manifest service, yeah, Gurudev. Impulse. I, I don't know this English word. So my Spontaneous intuition. You don't try to do, it happens what you can do. <laughs> you don't try to do, Gurudev says, it happens. No endeavor. Yes. I hate to keep. It comes naturally from within and it will manifest without. Pagala, Gurudev says. Welcome to Vrindavan. <laughs> you are one to be lucky person. <laughs> he pagala, he will do pagala to you. And he is also make, you know, I associate with him. He is a Christian Chandra, no association. He make me pagala. I was traveling with my sannyas ways and I am trying to be a good sannyasi and preaching, he make me pagala. He make me pagala. And he leave me alone. He make me pagala. It's all your fault, Krishna Chandra. <laughs> and Radhavan makes Gurudev pagala and Krishna Chandra's association also. <laughs> Don't associate with these Pagal people. <laughs> they are mad, <laughs> crazy. Impulsement will come. You will flow in that. Don't do association with those people. Sorry, to mark you now. <laughs> I am marked. It mark <laughs> made seven. <laughs> <laughs> Maharaj, this is also a, a beginner sadhaka has to make indriya prairana. He has to make an endeavor from knowing, oh, from this side, oh, I know it's good. And he starts to make an endeavor, buddhi purvaka, from the intelligence. Right. But as, as soon as one is touched by some mercy, then suddenly, it's coming from inside, and then it's not a conscious endeavor, but it's an anubhav, something which is like naturally flowing from inside the heart. And this can, and this is an unlimited thing. Sometimes from the mind we think, oh, serving for eternity. 
it's difficult. What, what should I do next? But when this unlimited flow is coming, it, it starts and Rupa Goswami even describes one Saki, she's making a garland for Radhika. But they don't make garland like this. Oh, it's nice flowers. Uh, it's like Morrison. It's like beep, 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 beep. Oh, you know, it's a, it's a sign. Oh, so every codes of love. Yeah. So every flower has a meaning. Yeah. But she wants to express something to Radhika and she puts this kind of flowers and feet. Yeah. And this means something. It's a message of service. She wants to express something which is in her heart. But then some other person, some Brijbasi, see this Saki and she takes away, as soon as she's finished, she takes away all flowers and she makes the flowers completely new. <laughs> and as soon as it's finished, again. And they think, oh, she's puggled, she's crazy. But <laughs> from inside, she has so many things she wants to express to Radhika. And it's not the same because the inspiration is flowing from inside the heart. It's newer and newer again and again. So this is when the inspiration is an anubhav, yeah. a natural and seva is not something we do. It's an anubhav from inside the heart. Yeah. Oh. On the strength of his loving devotion, the curtain of God's mind will open for the devotee, and he can see what is the Lord's desire. Yeah. How glorious then are the kinkaris who are dedicated to the service of the full Madhan Mahabhav, supreme love personified, Srimati Radhika, who keeps even Krishna under her control. Yes, this is the glorification of the maidservants of Srimati Radhika. Before we were talking about devotee who is getting into uh, spontaneous service and is get receiving intuition and feelings from within how to serve. And the kinkaris of Srimati Radhika, her maidservant, are even more glorious because they are day and night serving Srimati Radhika fully. It says a full service means in full Madana Mahabhav means when Srimati Radhika is showing all her feelings towards Mohan and the kinkaris, they feel her, they know her, they are completely in oneness of her desires. So that's the glories of the kinkaris. One thing I want to add. Why is man manjaris are also in the same bhav of Radhika? Because she is the shadow of Radhika. Our existence is no existence. Without, with, if original is not there, shadow is no meaning. You see, you do this shadow. This is Radhika and shadow. Manjari is like a shadow. If she goes with Radhika, she is the shadow of Radhika. This is the Manjari. So this, what is the, the here? To Radhika, it has to shadow also. So this is the similar feelings are there. What feeling? Madana. Yeah. Madana Mahabhav. Madanakha Mahabhav. Mm. Mm. Why Madanakha Mahabhav? 
because shadow because of the shadow and same feeling is there so why krishna is coming to the manjaris and praying and requesting i remember sujal and leela <laughs> what <laughs> leela bhagwati oh, or nice yeah all they come sakhi is a pay tax <coughs> sakhi has to pay tax mm. Mm. but when the manjari comes small baby come there then he put he krishna give one flower lotus flower to the manjari I remember this lotus flower. Wow, Why give she give to lotus flower to Manjari? Because she will bring to Arjuna. She cannot use for herself. That's the beauty of that. Yeah. Maharaj, can I add also? Yeah. This do adding, adding, adding. Sit there. <laughs> More add. Go, go. Come, come. Don't be shy. Hey, take chair. Come here. Okay. Okay. Go. All adding. Adding, adding. Adding, adding has to be there. <laughs> hey, make gold. Adding. Ba <laughs> <laughs> has to add, my dear. Yes. Yeah. Really beautiful everywhere. <laughs> yes. Raj, what you said in Prabodhananda Sarasvati? Yeah. He describes when Radhika many times Jaho Madhava she throws Madhava out of a kunja. But at that moment immediately she feels why did I do this? He should immediately come back. And then she ask her sakis like Lalita, can you bring him back? And they smile at Radhika. Now you just throw him out. <laughs> You're so beautiful. He will be attracted by your beauty. He will come back automatically. <laughs> and then Radhika kada karisha sihamam kripa kataksha bhajanam. Just by a sidelong glance, she's looking at her manjari. And she knows, and she immediately runs out, searching, bringing Krishna, and she, he's, she doesn't know where he is. So the, she's sitting there, crying tears, and singing Sankirtan. Yeah. Kirtan with Sambanda Gyan, with an intense intention. Nah. Radhanath, oh Radhanath. And Krishna is appearing before her and come here sit yeah no no sit here <laughs> not in front <laughs> sit here <laughs> oh my sand no sit here they are from america how are you <laughs> come <laughs> so at that moment when the manjari is singing Sankirtan very loudly, Shamsundar, he has to appear. And he is extremely touched. Why? Because on the face of the manjari, he can exactly see Radhika's moods. He can see Radhika's whole attitude. And yeah. he has a darshan yeah. of Swamini just on the face yeah. of her servant. Yeah. So this is what you call the shadow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, there is no difference between Radhika and Manjaris in one sense. All emotions which Radhika have are present in manjaris, but manjaris are in bud form. So it means that is condensed. All emotions of Srimati Radharani are condensed in their bud form. So when Radhika has the feelings, different feelings are coming constantly and they are changing and clashing like waves. Manjaris are also feeling that but they are not attracted krishna because all emotions are hidden and the most point 
most important point is that Manjari Baba always has to be hidden. But in the same time, the more it's hidden, the more intense. Yeah. Come, come and sit. Come. Also, the meaning of the word manjari means she is a mirror of the feelings of Srimati Radhika. Yeah. Oh. Jari means mirror in Hindi or Sanskrit, I don't know. Yeah. So she is the manjari, the mirror of the mind or the heart and the feelings of Srimati Radhika. Yeah. And when Mohan sees the expressions of love and eagerness on the face, of the manjaris, he sees the eagerness and feelings of Srimati Radhika. Yeah. And immediately he will run back to Swamini. Or the manjaris might guide him back. That depends on the mood of the Leela. Yeah. Kishori? Krishna himself. Worships Prema, divine love. Therefore, he is also subdued by Sri Radhika's maidservants. That is their full pride and glory. Yeah, that is also a beautiful point. Because the Manjaris, they are so fixed in love of Swamini. They can never be, uh, you know, like Krishna can never control them. Krishna can charm everyone. The whole universe is charmed by him because he is Cupid personified. But this maidservant of Srimati Radhika, they are so much in love with Srimati Radhika. They are more attracted to Radhika even than to Krishna. And that's why their love is so strong, so loyal and so pure that Krishna is subdued by that love. And whatever they say, that he will do it. He is subdued by love only. And that, that is, is the pride. Yes, selfless. Selfless. Selfless service. Only your service. Mm, not mine. No desire for anything is a selfless. I want only to serve my Swami. It becomes selfless. There is no desire. Selfless. No self. No desire to meet with Krishna, a friend to make Krishna. Selfless. I want to serve because Krishna also serves love and Swami is the goddess of love. So I want to serve selfless service to the love. Jaiho. Love, goddess of love. That is selfless. That is their pride and their glory. They are yeah. proud of this also, Gurudev. Yeah. And that's their glory. <coughs> yeah. Krishna became Gora to taste the love that Radhika feels for him. And after he had experienced that love. He also wanted to taste the nectar of the kinkari service. Oh, you see again, repeat. Mm -hmm. Krishna became Gora to taste the love that Radhika feels for him. Yeah. And after he had experienced that, 
He also wanted to taste the nectar of the kinkery service. Yeah, oh, he wanted this. <laughs> he is teaching us. Oh. He teaches us. Yeah. This is the reason for appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He only come to teach us what we cannot understand in Radha Krishna pastime. He again come that I become a student of Premya Guru, Radhika Premya Guru. And I am a kinkari of Radhika. Cover me also. Cover means kinkari is covered. If the, you become manjari, is covered. You cannot go out from that. If you are not manjari, then samsneha, visamsneha is this naughty boy will never leave you. It's covered. He said, I cover, I want to cover myself. Not to be out of this service mode. I want to read again. Read again. Understand it. Became Gora to taste the love that Radhika feels for him. And after he had experienced that, he also wanted to taste the nectar of the kinkari's service. Yeah. Wow. Radha Sevaka. Can you say something? Yeah, Radha Sevaka. All world is worshipping me, Krishna is thinking. Everyone is offering me obeisances. Everyone is asking something for me. Everyone is worshipping me. Everyone calls me different names, but no one is calling me Radha Sevaka. But this is my greatest desire from the deep core of my heart, to call me Radha Sevaka. And he became Gora, like you said, Gurudev, also to relish and learn how to be Manjari, how to be Radha Dasi. The God wants to, God wants. to be a Learn to be a servant of love. Yes. God desires. <coughs> Understand? God wants to be in love. Live in love. <coughs> and to serve to love. So who is bigger? <laughs> <coughs> love of God. Love of God. <laughs> Love. Maharaj, and this is a very... Oh. Hola, holy sloka. This is coming. Prajena Pano Nandini, Prajena Suna Sangate, Karagari Shasihama, Kripa Gatakshabhajana. From, from, for, for even Mahapur, this that God, that Krishna Himself has an expansion. This is Gaur Lila. For he wants to follow the fascination of love for him, especially the highest love in Radhika's heart and even overflowing in the Manjaris. This is a long travel. In Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami, he says, Mahaprabhu, he had to go and he, uh, he took Guru for that, but it was not enough. Then he thought, I have to go to do that what Radhika did. Every time 
when Radhika ran for Shyam Sundar, yeah. she never had a thought looking back, oh, maybe what's, what is their thinking? What is the family? She just ran. And what is this mood called? You just run and you never ever look back in your life for any consequence. You give yeah. full priority for the divine love. This is called sannyas. This is why Mahaprabhu took sannyas, just to enter in that what, what Radhika did every second, every moment she did. But this was not enough. So then Shyam Sundar, Gaur Sundar, he thought, I have to have association with Shimati Radhika's very close friends. So she was, he was sitting at <coughs> with Ramananda Roy with Vishaka herself, hearing from her heart, because Vishaka is born on the very same day as Radhika. So, so much came out, but it was not enough. So later Mahaprabhu traveled and it looked like he is instructing Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami, Rupa Shiksha and Sanatan Shiksha, but actually it's the other way around. It's Krishna himself who wants to learn something about what is this love what is this wonderful love even what vishaka was teaching him was not enough now he has to go to rupa manjari and labhanga manjari yeah. rupa and sanatan and actually they give him mercy we even experience this sometimes we think we speak something but actually we listen like maharaj always say we receive it's not. So this is what Mahaprabhu also experienced when he speaks a shiksha and uh, instruction, but he receives everything from Rupa and Sanatan Goswami, from Rupa and Labhanga Manjari. So, and then finally he's coming. It's not even enough. So now Radhika's heart is melting even more and she is, she in the form of Sri Gadadhar Pandit. She's instructing Mahaprabhu in, uh, in Tota Gopinath Gardens. So now the same Krishna who is on a long, long travel to find out what is divine love. Now he sits in these beautiful gardens that are like a replica of Brindavan. And the same Radhika, she's speaking the very same verses of Bhagavatam that Krishna knew from his side. Now suddenly he starts to understand them by the words of Radhika herself. What does it mean? So now, but Ananda Das Babaji he says, actually even he could taste it for a moment, but it, it wanted to spill over. And there's many, many instances in Mahaprabhu's life. <clears throat> suddenly he was running towards a little hill of sand in Puri. It is just a little sand. But in that mood, Gaur Sundar Chaitanya Mahaprabhu thought, this is Govardhan. And he was running and running. Mm. And everyone was following him and trying to catch him. But then he fell unconscious mm. on the ground. And the bhaktas with great pain in the heart were sitting around him and were singing Maha Mantra. The holy name, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. And after a long time, Mahaprabhu looked up and said, who is doing this noise? This is very interesting. Normally we think we sing the holy name to enter the divine Leela. But in that case, the holy name brought him out of the Leela. So this means this mantra gives connection and gives the pain of separation at the same time. Yeah. So, but then they ask Mahaprabhu, where were you? And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was crying and crying and said, it was very sad that you disturbed me at that very precious moment. I saw Radha and Krishna. Shyama Shyam, Kishori Kishori, they entered a beautiful cave in Govardhan. And then one Saki, one Gopi, was turning towards me, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, can you 
maybe arrange some flowers, some special flowers right now. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in full of tears, he was running and collected so many flowers. And at that moment, in that seva, inside, he experienced all the embraces that the divine couple had in this confidential cave of Sri Govardhan. And then he said, and I approached this cave I just wanted to enter. And at that very moment, a tumultuous noise was there. Maha Mantra. So this is an example. There's many examples. Yes, this is an example that it's like overflowing. It's not just experiencing Radhika's love and what she's experienced, even what Radhika's servants experience. Yeah. I'm a bit shocked. <laughs> Gurudev, I am shocked because it says Krishna pierces Goranga to taste the love Radha has for him. So he experiences this, but then after that, he wants to experience the service of the Kinkari, how that feels. So means Manjari Bhav is so high, Gurudev, that first, not like first. He experienced the love of Radha, which is already Madana Kemabhav, but then he wants to experience this, how it feels to serve Radha Rani as Manjari. Because in Radha Krishna, when in the form of Radha Krishna, he cannot repay the love of Radhika. So it's not sufficient only to feel it, how much Radhika is loving to Krishna, it becomes very confidential. We know only in Gopi Bhav or Sakhi Bhav, because Nimarga Sampradaya and Hitharivan Sampradaya, they bring up to Gopi and Sakiba. It was hidden, it was before also. Ujjal Rasa was there. But you see, Unnat Ujjal Rasa. What is Unnat Ujjal Rasa? That is not, not there. This Unnat Ujjal Rasa, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appears to explain because Krishna desires, Krishna wants to, to, to give this love to Radhika. This love to give Radhika, he refers to Radha. Please, I need your help. And Radha can say, you don't know how you will give. Say, yes, I don't know. So why Krishna Chandra say, what is this? Radhika is Guru. Why Guru? Because Krishna is wise. Yes. The student, what is Guru and the student? Mood taking of Guru mm. is the nature of a student, right or not? Yes. I took the mood of my teacher, then I am the real student, right? So he said, I, how I will take your mood if I not become your shadow? To take that mood, I have to be always with you. So he took the mood and he covered also that I not go out any moment out from you because I want to relish only love. People know me as only searching for God. But I'm searching for love, they don't understand. <laughs> so I don't want to go out from your shadow. 
give in your ways. Give me in your shadow. That is covering. Why covering shadow? You cover me in your shadow. That is covering. Why say he is not a good man? He make me pagala. Adilila poor kanto. Don't relate with him. He is culprit. Culprit for my life. For many lives. He is a very big culprit. I was really sannyasi, dancing, <laughs> moving. He gives so many his babies to me to help. And one day he called me, I was in Abhyana. And he Sadhu Maharaj, how are you? I said, very good. He said, ah, you read Adilila for Kanto? <laughs> I never read any book. I never know Bhagavad Gita. I never read any book. And when he instructed me, I start reading. Still I cannot understand that. I cannot understand. I cannot understand. So deep and beautiful. That is not want to realize this world. This mm. is the reason of Titania appearance. He is, the <laughs> he is the person I show you. <laughs> Never associate with him. <laughs> and if you want to be crazy, then associate. <laughs> he will give you one tips and then you go and guess. <laughs> yeah. oh, what is happening? <laughs> Why he so me? To research that, he gave me to research it. Right or not? Say is right or not? <laughs> I cannot forget <laughs> giving to this Manjiri lotus feet and you instruct me to go in this. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> And Paramadvati Maharaj said to me, when I took sannyas, I was in family life. You see my family, everyone. You see, her mother is also here. They were in America. She also become like you, American. But now she's here. I was in family life, normal, living like a family member and this, that. He said, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? One day, mother he said, he's a useless person. His mother said, useless person. Bring him out. He's, he's really useless, no useful. And my, this, her mother make me useful. This is her mercy that she make me useful. This is his mercy. Then he opened my eyes. And he want to run away from me? <laughs> huh? He want to leave me? No way, baby. When I will die, then you leave. Before not do this. Please, my brother. You catch me. I was in Vrindakun. I don't know you. Why you come and hug me? <laughs> what I do mistake to you? <laughs> Why you come running and hug me and bring me every place? And now you say, I leave you? <laughs> you see? Because I become little Pagala, so you want to leave me <laughs> mad. You see, this is the selfish nature that you don't recognize me now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not my days are in this body.
Don't leave me. Now your responsibility to take care of the new generation who is coming to take care of Radha Mohan. Your responsibility, you give me responsibility, I take care. Anyone who introduce, I do any mistake, beat me in the presence of everyone. But now your responsibility, I give you today. How you bring, that will be your business. Yeah, I hand over because I am not qualified or right or not, Suniti. You agree with me? No, I don't agree. Don't come empty to me. You help me by microphone. Gopinath, microphone. Oh my God. <laughs> you have so much love, Guru. You are touching all of us. We are crying. You make us cry and feel. No, no. <laughs> if you not say Chetan Chetan Amrita Adi Nila Purganto, I was so happy person. <laughs> I was practicing outside. <laughs> you was happy in Vaidhi Pankti Guru. Yeah. Unna tu jalrasa, why I am searching? Unna tu jalrasa. No tu jalrasa. Unna tu jalrasa. Go on. Don't listen to me. Eric. <laughs> Radhe, while Chaitanya relished the mood of the manjaris, his body became formed like a turtle. You see? Proof. It's a manjari, is a proof. Yeah. This is the beauty. A book of Anandas Bhavan. Gurudev, why turtle? Now, Christian will explain. <laughs> Out of body consciousness, turtle manad ma Krishna becomes. He's a Krishna, na? Chaitanya. He forget himself. He is in a, so much in ecstasy <laughs> to, in love of, to feel the highest love, Vardhanakya, highest love, divine love, that he becomes Kurma. Kurma Kriti. Kurma. Mr. Lakhi He forget everything. Even he forget himself that he is a Krishna. Like that. Or sometimes his limbs would loosen and stretch out. Ashti Sandhi Vi Yoga. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita describes Mahaprabhu's mad words oh my God. after he came out of his Kurmakriti. Not go in, just out. Yeah, there are. Antya Lila, Chapter 14 Today, I went to Govardhan Hill. Sri oh. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said. And again, repeat, today I went to? Govardhan Hill. Yeah, wow. Ah. To see 
If Krishna was tending his cows there, climbing on Govardhan Hill, Krishna played his flute, surrounded by the cows. Hearing the flute song, Srimati Radha came there. Wow. Oh, Saki, I cannot describe her form and mood. Krishna took Radha by the hand and entered the cave with her. While the Sakis told me to pick some flowers. For the service of Sri Sri Radha Madha, the Sakis are asking the Ginkaris to pick flowers. Here it is clear that Mahaprabhu finally came to relish the mood of the spiritual maidservants, manjaris, in the pinnacle of his ecstatic absorption. And when Mahaprabhu almost drowned of ecstasy, in the ocean and all the joints of his bones became disconnected out of ecstasy, he told his devotees in half external consciousness. Seeing the Yamuna River, I went to Vrindavan, where I saw the Prince of Braja, Krishna, playing in the water with Sri Radhika and the gopis, having great fun. I stayed on the shore with the other Sakis, while one Saki showed this pastime to the others. Here again Mahaprabhu explains that he did not play an active role in Krishna's pastimes but that he was relishing a service position like that of the manjaris, witnessing these sweet pastimes without taking active part in them. Here we can also understand uh, what is the meaning of this secret of a manjari. Because Mahaprabhu likes to experience manjari bath and the bath of Radharani, not Saki bath or Gopi bath. This is a different. And the meaning behind this, it is a secret to him. And uh, by the mercy of Radhika and the uh, Manjaris, they opened this secret to him in Mahaprabhu. And there we have to understand the, what is Unterschied zu Niti? The difference between the Manjaris and the Gopis. 
So Manjari Bhav is more secret even. They have really only the service mood to Radhika. They have no selfish interest in enjoying with Krishna. But they are really in this absolute service mood to Radhika. And this is what Krishna never experienced before. And in Mahaprabhu, he could do this. And so they opened the secret to him. And this is the most beautiful thing we have to understand and feel. This is also what we are learn here in the in this beautiful ashram to get the feeling and to understand what is really Manjari mood. And the beauty of Mahaprabhu is really that he not only do this experience when he took his time and this world. No, he gave also, he opened this door to us that we could also enter in this service mood of the Manjaris. And in this line we can learn this. What is this meaning? So, we can say we come from the God consciousness to this consciousness of a maidservant of Radhika. This, is a, 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 this was a, a hidden thing before. But now it is opened by the mercy of Mahaprabhu. Jai Shri Radhe. Maybe just one small thing. Yes. <coughs> this is very beautiful. In Mahaprabhu, when he has a, he starts experiencing, he has transcendental emotions and they form. Sometimes he's so overwhelmed with love, he cannot contain. My Gurudev always said, you cannot put two liters of water in that little bottle. It will spoil over. So this is what happens in Mahaprabhu. Suddenly, in the form of Krishna, Radhika's love comes and it spoils all over. And that's why so many tears are coming out. That's why he has the word is there that Ashtalinga has something that it, the limbs are like expanding. This means we also have the feeling sometimes, I think it cannot Keep, hold it in the body, I, I, it will break. And really, this is how Vaishnavas die. They don't die of old age, they don't die of sickness. They don't, it's, I, one cannot contain it anymore. It's, this love is, is so intense. And in Mahabharata's body, it makes, it's sometimes so great that such a, Limbs are becoming three meters long, very long. And this turtle, this is not just um, re restraining all the senses of a yogi. Really, it's like, it's the feeling that all ways of expressing I ever used are in Sifiknik, are not made for that. So that's why it shrunk together, just a, a piece of, it looks like a piece of flesh, a transcendental bomb <laughs> there. <Yeah. laughs> but what is, why is this happening in Mahaprabhu? We always have to see, Gora Premara Sarnave Setaranga Chabedule Serata Madhava Antaranga. This is Narodam Das Thakur singing. Oh, just dive in that what Mahaprabhu is feeling, in his inner feelings. And you go like over the boat and you fall in the water of love and it's you go down down and at one point you come up again you breathe but you will be 
as a servant of Shimati Radhika Radha Madhva Antaranga, who is Antaranga, who is extremely close to Radha Madhva, only the servants of Shimati Radhika. Suddenly you have changed your form. So what, why is in Mahaprabhu this feeling that he, his whole body become like a turtle, like a, bo a piece of flesh? It's like just seeing Radha Madhava's place in the Yamuna. So this is in the form of a manjar, it's so overwhelming. So, and this is such a deep principle, why we say, why we are attracted to Radha and Krishna. This, if we put all love of all the universes at all time, if we put them in one form and all the happiness from all the universes in all time, if we would somehow constrain them in, then we would have the form of Radha Mohan, of the divine couple. So it's always an emotion gives a form. And this is what's happening there. So the most deepest exchange of love has a form. And this is Radha Mohan. Dial. Chaitanya Charitamrita further says Apani Kori Ashvadane Shikailo Paktagane Whatever he himself came to relish, he taught to his devotees. Since, as is shown above, he did relish Manjari Bhav, he was the one who taught it to the devotees also. Notably, through Srila Rupa and Srila Raghunathas Goswami. One can never understand the flavors of Braja while remaining in a mundane consciousness. And the devotees who take shelter of Sriman Mahaprabhu's lotus feet are the suitable candidates for relishing these flavors. Yeah. In order to relish the sweetness of the love in Raja, one must give up the attitude of awe and reverence towards God. Vrindavan is the kingdom of sweetness and the upashan subject of worship and meditation of braja rasa is a sweet upasan in which we want to see krishna as the laukika sat pandhu a good worldly Friend. Yes, our Srila Gurudev, he always came and he said, Prabhupada teach you who is Krishna, and that is Krishna is God. And now I come to teach you and tell you, you have to forget that he is God. If we want to enter, into a sweet relationship without fear, without majesty, then we have to come out of God consciousness, 
Otherwise, we cannot have this relationship with beautiful Vrindavan, where everyone is a friend of Krishna, a parent in the parental mood, or in the mood of a beloved. That is very important, and for this, we need guidance of those who have already developed these feelings of sweetness with the Divine Lord or Divine Goddess. That is very important, because from our human nature, we always have, for many lifetimes, maybe in any kind of religion and practice we have had, we have worshipped God with an awe and reverence, or we have avoided God. There are so many things that have happened to us. But here in Vrindavan, we have to forget God, and we have to come under the shelter of goddess, of love. And that is a, a very amazing process to come. I said also this one song, what if God was one of us? How is this feeling if God is one of us, if we are playing together, if we are you know, having fun together, having the day is full of beauty and just like a worldly similar worldly experience between, uh, you know, like a village of love. That is what is explained here, that Vrindavan is the kingdom of sweetness. And the meditation here is a sweet upasana, a sweet feeling in which we want to serve Radha and Krishna as a good worldly friend. Somebody would like to share? Just the first um, verse that Kishori, uh, the first line she read, I cannot read here. Um, she said, read, read that line. Was, um, if you want to understand something about Vrindavan, you mm -hmm. have to come out of that. In of order Brata. to relish yes. the sweetness of the love in Braja, one must give up the attitude of awe and reverence towards God. Yes. And one sentence before, it said even... <coughs> Bangla. One can never uh, understand the flavors of Braj while remaining in the mundane consciousness. It's just because I, I'm saying this because I'm just looking at Hanuman, my dear <laughs> brother. <laughs> and somehow many things are coming. And in Ramayan, this is very, there's a very beautiful, and this is important. For us, there's a very beautiful um, scene. Then Ram and Lakshman were walking all around and they came to Kiskindakshetra. And Hanuman was the servant of Sugriva, of the king. And the king said, you know, there are two strangers here. Can you check them out, who they are? And Hanuman thought, yes, I will do that. And he thought, he took the garments of a Brahmin. You know, I'm going. And then he approached Ram and Lakshman and said, who are you? And Ram and Lakshman said, who are you? <laughs> and Hanuman has a beautiful quality, he can never lie. So he said, actually, I just the garment of a Brahmin, but I'm Hanuman. <laughs> <laughs> so he revealed, he came out of any covering. So then, and but he, who are you? And Lakshman said, I'm Lakshman and this is my brother Sri Ramachandra. And Hanuman was shaking and he fell on the ground and grabbed their feet and made the abhishek of that, of his, that, his own tears. Yeah. And he looked at them and said, why didn't I recognize you? You're my eternal Lord. Why did I recognize you? And Ram said, you came as something you were not. Mm. So that's why I was also covered. <laughs> so you couldn't recognize me. This is what Anandana Babaji was writing. Wow. So this is what Mahaprabhu, one of the w beginning mantras when we, before we start chanting, before we do our dhyanam, our meditation, is always naham vipro na janara patir na javaisya na shudra and so on. It's oh my lord, now I'm coming and I'm going out of all the roles I ever played in this world. 
Kintu Pradyan Paramananda Punamrita Pter. And I'm just serving that love. How go be bhartu padakamala yora dasa das anudasi. I'm just a servant of the servant of the servant of your confidential servants. And Radha and Krishna, they don't have servants there. They have only female servants. So this means coming out of all roles and all designations I ever played in this world. But, uh, but uh, we don't aspire friendship, right? We don't want to be friends with Radharani, do we? There's one uh, Leela in the in Vilapku Sumanjali where Radharani asks Tulsi, Hey Tulsi, why do you love me so much? You know, you're always with me, you're always crying for me. Come, I make you my Saki, I'll make you my chief friend. And Tulsi says, No, I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> She said, why? I said, come on, I give you this position. You can be of my friend, you know. But uh, Tulsi says, no, I want to be your maidservant. What is that difference between friend? Love. She says, no, I don't want your friendship. I want to be your maidservant. I put it on my head. Especially. Yes. And then Radharani asks, but Tulsi, tell me, why do you love me so much? What is it? What makes you love me so much? And then she says, I don't know, but the day my Guru Manjari introduced me to you, I cannot forget you anymore. And this is what Gurudev, you said, we have to absorb the mood of our Gurudev, that relationship we want with Radharani, the relationship my Gurudev has. It's not even my choice anymore. <laughs> if we want to be shadow, then it's not our choice anymore. We just follow the mood of our Guru. No, no, no. So my, my Gurudev is a Manjuri Adasi, so I also aspire to be that. So, not only friend, not friendship, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So this is why in so many places, Sanatha Babaji is saying we should practice bhajan by following, mm -hmm. not imitating or concocting something. We just have to follow the mood of our Guru Manjari, and in that way, all necessary emotions and expertise with these emotions will be infused in our heart. Otherwise, we will have some our own concoctions and will be our own gurus. So this is completely wrong path, actually. And we have to understand very seriously when Acharyas are saying following the path, it means following the bhava. That means following the bhava, following the emotions. And we have Guru Manjari that we follow her emotions, Manjari bhava, and for that we need acceptance. Otherwise, if we don't accept, we are under the influence of false identification. So, this Manjari bhava is so unique, and we have to learn it and feel it through someone who is already on that position. We should learn, we should think like a manjari, we should feel like a manjari, we should act like a manjari. And by our alone, it's not possible. It's concoction. Radhe Radhe. Radhika Dasi Yadi Hoy Abhiman. Yes. Come. Yes. <laughs> Radhe Radhe, Gora Chandra speaking. Gora Chandra, Om Japan. Where are you, Gora Chandra? Come into the picture. I'm in Japan. <laughs> My dear Krishna Chandra, I'm so happy to see you. So. You brought me to my Gurudev. 
and he is taking care of me. And you brought so many devotees to Gurudev. And he takes care of them. And I'm very happy that I listen right now that in the future you will also take care of us again. <laughs> uh, I listened to so many beautiful lectures of you, but I remember one <coughs> lecture and I want that you share this subject again. We know that Krishna, he has three desires that he could not fulfill in Krishna Leela. So he came as Mahaprabhu. But once you gave a lecture that also Radharani, she also had desires that she could not fulfill in Krishna Leela. So in Gora Leela also Radharani fulfilled three desires of hers, and I want to ask you to share about this subject. To ask. And I give my dhanavats to you. I'm very happy to see you in the association of all devotees. Sarade, Rade. Go ahead, Chandra. Mm -hmm. So strange that the technical uh, instrument is between us. <laughs> I want to jump and embrace you. <laughs> this is because we served so many times together, also we all here, and this gives a connection much more close than any family relation could be. <clears throat> this is the intense connection of service. But I, th I think this is a very big topic and I cannot explore it, but very, very short. Gora Leela is, explo is an explosion. It's an explosion uh -huh. what Krishna in whole Brindavan couldn't experience. Suddenly, the, because he had these desires, suddenly, Yoga Maya arranges a place and a, a realm, which is just a, another part of Brindavan. It's called Navadvip. And there the explosion happens. Gor Lila, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But actually, all the servants of Srimati Radhika, they had so many, many desires. They couldn't fulfill completely. And suddenly it happens in Gor Lila. <laughs> And also in Shimati Radhika, she has desires that she couldn't fulfill in Brindavan Leela. And actually, there are much more than three. <laughs> <laughs> She's topping Krishna in every way, also in her desires. So one desire is like, <laughs> in Brindavan, Shimati Radhika, sometimes it's Parakiyaras, she cannot sing Krishna's name loudly. Sometimes in Yavat, she wants to sing, and suddenly Shatila is there, looking very angrily, and she has to suppress all, the t all these names. And now it's like a pressure cooker. When you cook and cook and the, the, it cannot go away, then it comes out and at one, yeah, exactly like this. <laughs> So it comes out, this intensity, in form of tears of Shimati Radhika. She cannot hold. And she has a desire. When will be the moment when I can sing these names unrestricted, loud, and constantly? <laughs> so now Radhika appears as Sri Gadadhar Pandit, who is like the Acharya of Kirtan, and always in loud singing in... In the association of the Lord, she, now Radhika can sing and can fulfill this very, very desire. 
And another desire, many desires. You can see this ecstasy, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, this, uh, what you say, an explosion of emotion. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. This is rare. No? Yeah. How, how is this coming? How is this possible? This this enthusiasm in, in, the, in Kirtan and this, how is this great love inside this? And we can feel it. If we listen this pastime of Mahaprabhu, what, what is their uh, energy behind this? So this is what... Exactly what Krishna Chandra just said, it is like a, a, a steam, a, a compression steam that, that comes out, and so this is beautiful. Jai. Just maybe one other. In Gopi Geet, at the very end of Gopi Geet in Vrindavan, out of the heart of Srimati Radhika comes Yate Sujata Jadanam Bodhuam Staneshu. <coughs> very, very beautiful verses. And she said, Oh, Sham Sundar, when you walk, it's intolerable for me. You could hurt yourself. Please walk on me. I cannot tolerate any difficult situation in you. So now Radhika said, I want to embrace him in such a way that I can always, always protect him from all sides. When we embrace like this, it's not from all sides, it's just <laughs> one small part. Yeah, a small part only touch. I want to embrace him. So now Radhika's mood completely embrace Sri Krishna. That's why he becomes Tapta Kanjana Gorangi. Now he's Goranga Mahaprabhu. It's a complete embrace of Shimati Radhika. Can I ask something? Yes. But then they are embracing. And they're close together like never. Like, like, like. Then they're embracing and they're as close together like never before. And they feel separation. See, so they're together like never before. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is a mystery of, the, of divine love. What, when we chant Maha Mantra, we say... Chanting is crying for the divine couple, Hare Krishna. But at the same time, it's intimate association with them. And the more you feel intimate association, the more you cry. It's something... Yes, Premvachitya. Sometimes when we eat, we, you know, it's every bite we eat, hunger goes down. It's a cruel thing, <laughs> because in the divine realm, it's exact opposite. The m every little connection gives more thirst, gives more hunger, gives more intensity. So that's why in, even when Radha and Krishna are most intimate together, you know, there is a feeling I think I have never seen him. When Rishimati Radhika, in a whole night of Rasa Lila, she was together for millions and millions of years. They were dancing in the Kunjas of Vrindavan. When Radhika just turns to go back to Yavat, she looks back once more and she says, Kobal. She asked Tulsi Manjari, ah, Kobal, who is this wonderful, very beautiful, astonishing boy standing there? under the trees, I have never seen him. So this is the, the very nature of, of divine association. So you speak a very deep point. There is prema by chitya. This is even when Radha and Krishna are extremely close together, they can feel separation. And in the other way, <coughs> Prima Samput, when they're ex in extreme separation on different places, suddenly they feel, oh, we are so much connected. This means on the divine level, we go above material dualities. It's no more togetherness or separated. Not in this world, oh, so nice to see you. Oh, so sad he died. <laughs> but we go beyond this kind of level. So just for Gorachandra, um, to end, 
another very important desire in the heart of Shimati Radhika was, I want to be together with Krishna all the time. Because in Vrindavan Leela, there is sometimes they have to separate, they have to go on different places, like Gochar and Leela and many other things. But this desire, so Gadadhar took Kshetra Sanyas and they stayed together and never ever separated anymore. So, so many, many desires, even in Radhika's heart. And Gaur Leela is the explosion of all the desires in the heart of Krishna, all desires in the heart of Radhika. Pfft, and all the desires in the heart of all the bhaktas and the manjaris, now it comes and it gives a big explosion. And this is called Gaur Leela. Jai Ho. Yeah. There's, uh, there's one um, time when Radharani sits on the lap of Mohan and she looks in his eyes, but she sees the reflection of herself, but she thinks he's with another one. She f forgets that she's with him. Brahma Vaichita, this intensity. And who is seeing this? No. Who is seeing this, Gurudev? The Manjari is seeing this. And without Gaur Leela, we would even not know about this. Right, Krishna Chandra? We would even not understand Raja Leela. And without Raja Leela, we can't understand Gaur Leela. Daddy. Gaur <laughs> Chandra, <laughs> liebe Umarmung. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> How many are there? How many are there? 68. My God, we are almost more here. <laughs> You're all there. <laughs> the room is very full. We are maybe, I don't know, 40 here, no? More than 50. More than 50. So we are 108. Jai Ho! I hope uh, that Chris Chandra is now in Vrindavan. <laughs> so evening classes, he will always come and share. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I request him to stay here. This room is for him. <laughs> if we give mercy, then morning also class is happening. Which time happening class? We have morning class at 6.30. <laughs> but it, it, they are all, all for a few days. Yes, I know. So please, they want to go soon. So please, if you have a time, also give to Chance. That we can share more by your mercy. And please make a Zoom link for that also. <laughs> Always 4.30 is a Zoom link, my dear. But when Krishna Chandra is there, what book he will select? On his uh, guidelines, everything will be going on. He will read the... What book you want to keep for tomorrow? Tomorrow, then we have to check. No, checking after, before and after. We have 4.30 to 6. After that, you are free. Ja, immer morgens zwei Stunden und abends zwei Stunden. Ja, du kannst die hinter. Ganz gucken, wenn es geht. Ja? 6.30 Uhr bis 8 Uhr da ist. 
34 bis 37. They are thinking. <laughs> right? You like this idea? Jai! <laughs> they are also liking it. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I agree. Say you with your words, give the mic to him. Please. I will ask after. Please say after now, they are here. You don't they will want to come to listen. You are giving in the seven hour this way. We're following your way. Small, small. <laughs> you taught us. <laughs> No, it's so beautiful to be together. This is in the Bhagavatam when the Prachetas were meditating together, Sri Krishna appeared to them and he was crying and he said, because of your intense friendship between each other, I was bound to come. No, no. Krishna said. <laughs> so, so, Maharaj. Hi, Krishna Tandra. Yeah, you see? <laughs> so Who this is means. Name. Nice. I know. Kanai. That was Kanai. I said, Tight Krishna Chandra. <laughs> <laughs>